This is the best discard deck in Marvel Snap. We use Leech to shut down our opponents, comboing it with Lockjaw. Lockjaw in discard decks can just go absolutely turbocharge nuts, where you just get loads of unrevealed discard effects, getting your Apocalypse huge, getting your Morbius humongous as well. And also it combos very well with Leech as well because you can get that early Leech or you can just play your Leech into Lockjaw on turn number five. Leech, of course, one of the best cards in the game, undoubtedly. And this is one of the few decks which can still utilize it well. Super happy with the list. I wouldn't change anything if you can at all help it. The one card which is a flexible consideration to get rid of is Swordmaster. You can definitely play Gambit in there if you have him. Moon Knight also, if you just want to have a bit of fun, but Swordmaster just edges it for me. Blade's not bad either. The other things that you might want to consider trying out are Mystique for a second Morbius, but of course that's very dodgy with Lockjaw. Gambit, which can be very good into the Lockjaw lane instead of Swordmaster. And yeah, you're good to go. So we could go Lady Sif and Blade here, but then we risk hitting Leech, which would be pretty bad, but we're going to go for it either way. We could, of course, go Hellcow as well. But I think getting Stark Tower nice and filled up seems like the motive for the plus twos. And then we just play APOC elsewhere. Nice. Beautiful. Look at him go, mate. We don't really want to see... Oh my lord. Hello, the first game. And APOC is absolutely popping off. Are you guys seeing this? And now we get to leech on our opponent. That's pretty flipping good, mate. Stream of luck. Yeah, that's kind of true. Ooh. Get leeched on! Ah! Look at the mob go, mate! <laughs> 28 point A pot. All systems go. My goodness. This is ridiculous. <laughs> the first game with the deck. Yeah, opponent better retreat. Victory. Man, this deck's insane. We're gonna play something different in a little while. Oof. We don't have any way of getting points in there. Nice. You just go infinite for the first time. Congrats. That's also good. We've got a chance then. Dracula. Modok would be the best setup here. I'm not running. We do have a pretty good hand. Modok top deck would be beautiful. Yeah, I'm enjoying doing the later streams, man. I've been wanting to stream at this time for so long. The main problem is that it's just like I feel bad for my old man because I'm living at home at the moment and um, he like cooks around this time, but kind of just got to do what I got to do in it. I think we're winning. Let's snap back. How do you feel about Statue Moon Knight in this deck? I don't have Stature, but I can kind of see it. I don't know, maybe not in this deck, to be honest. The, the, the issue is, like, what do you cut for it? Like, Swordmaster is an easy cut, sure, but then you don't want to cut any of the other cards, I think. I think the list is too tight. There's, like, one flex card, which is, like, Swordmaster, which you would be putting Moon Knight in for, sure. But then you're going to be cutting something like Leech, which I think is just not correct. And this is the big problem. Oh god, that's really bad for us. This is the big problem before with. Oh, then again. I forgot my mob is going to the flipping moon. So. That should do it. Eight cubes. Let's go. Well, it was only four, but still. Discard's really good with Lockjaw, and Lockjaw's really good with Leech. There's definitely different ways you could build this one, undoubtedly. It's not like, um... Oh, 
We're going to snap on the lock, you'll find. What do you say is one of the best early free pool decks? Um, some kind of mid range. Because early pool three is like really depending on what you have. Just like some kind of like storm. Storm deck with like vision and shit. That would be my opinion. Are we going to get Faki in? I think we are going to get Faki and Galactus done, aren't we? Oh, shoot. Oh! Get leeched, mate. Let's go. <laughs> Filthy. Absolutely disgusting. So I can get nine. I can get ahead here with two swarms. So go swarm swarm first, then drag swarm swarm. That'll do it. Should do it. Oh shit! Guys, it's a problem. If we hit a discard, we're fine. But yeah, if we hit a discard, we won't get in flipping <laughs> any points on Dracula. I should have played the Chavez, not the Drac. Oh, mate. What a win. Look at the leech. Death Galactus, no way. Was the hand? Yeah, you might be right. Hmm. Interesting. I think the, the Lockjaw is not so good anymore, right? We just need a discard target and then we're flying. Oh, mate. Snap. Guys, we're popping off. Swarm is the money draw here. Just for the source. Dex and Cozy have some of the best presentation. Yeah, Cozy's uh, production value is insane. And I think Dex is just so good at what he does. It's just so smooth. He's just like kind of the uh, best example of how to do it efficiently cozy's just like a whole nother beast like i could never do what cozy does better whereas like dexter's kind of like what i'm dexter's basically doing what i'm doing but like and have done like when i was playing gwent but just way better guys this deck is flying it's so much better than i was expecting it to be why dexter's videos always have clickbaitish titles because it works because it works. Why did they not double spectrum? It actually was Cosmo. Please go mid Modoc. Woo! Saved. Absolutely saved, mate. And we play Chavez right here because the Dracula consumes the Apoch twice and it also gets the buffs. Do you think Shuri is still a must buy knowing a potential nerf is coming? Eh. Depends. If you want to just win games now, then yeah, she's a must buy, like, if that's all you care about, but. Look at us go. This deck's so saucy. I'd quite like to be a politician. Do you guys think I would make a good one? Being a politician sounds pretty cool. You get like free cocaine. That sounds pretty fun. You get to use taxpayers' money to buy all your food and stuff. Never even heard of Gwen. Oh, mate, you should check it out. It's the most similar game to Snap IMO. It's like a longer, more complicated, higher skill ceiling, but also less accessible. Like when you win two out of three rounds rather than two out of three lanes. 
And it's about points as well, like yeah, whoever has more points. Oh mate. Yeah. It does sound like a pretty nice life being a politician. Pretending to care about everyone. But secretly you don't. How's my received pronunciation? You fucking what? What does that even mean? Modok! No. Hmm. I guess we go Kaleen Wing and Hellcow. Oh, mate, we hit Modok off of Olympia, guaranteed. Oh, let's go. Let's go, mate. That's insane. This Morbius is going to the fucking moon. What? How is this not leeched? You dirty high roller. That's a bad start. Actually, maybe it's good. I think it's good. It just It's bad for my Dracula. That's the issue. It's good for my Morb. Do we have enough to win mid? Nope. So I think we're losing. We need the Drac to high roll and then we win. The odds weren't uh, that good for the high roll though, were they? GG. Fucking Patriot top deck beat us. Can I follow up your wonderful Scouse accent when they come to Brummy? Well, it's not going to be as good because um, I actually lived in Liverpool for like five years, right? But um, I can attempt it. The Oriental Kitchen. There you go. That's my attempt. I now retire. The Oriental Kitchen. Pretty good, honestly. Oh, my name's Dean. I'm from Birmingham. Definitely not that good, but I think it's, it's possible. This is some of the- You don't even know the accents I'm trying to flipping do! You're from flipping America. Shut up. <laughs> uh... I guess we're pretty like to get Swordmaster back. Bribe me, dimwit. Bribe me, dimwit. You're supposed to bribe me. There you go. There's a brummy accent. <laughs> bribe you, dimwit. You're supposed to bribe me. Fucking Gwent voice lines, mate. Do an American accent? Oh, God. I'm definitely not very good at that. I can do quite a good Dara impression, I think. Dara, if, if, if I was to have to do an American accent, I would actually do try and just do like a Dara impression. Don't worry about it. How's that? I think that's what I've got. Don't worry about it. Is that any good? I got it. That was legit terrible. Yeah. That's fine. I knew it would be. Oh! That's OP. You better run. Show me how you got a cube off that. I, like, the words didn't make sense, but that's fine. Loving your surfer big popper deck. Thank you. Cheers. We're playing against compact sandwich. What's your... What's your opinions on compact sandwiches, guys? Give us your best Liverpool accent. Yes, lad. Is right, lad. How's that? Chicken and a can of coke. A bug. When I was teaching in Liverpool, I like I taught year one, uh, my last year of university. Year one is uh, wait. Are we getting? Did they ramp, guys? This game. 
Can they Galactus me this turn? Chat! That literally is just an Irish Kilkenny. Nah, that's Scouse, mate. I mean, Scouse accents have very big um, links to Ireland, bro. It's like, yeah, they wave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. They're just going to fucking Kang me anyway. He makes stuff for great again. I did. It's on my YouTube, Alexandra. Uh, Check it out. They waved at me. That was nice of them. What exactly does Scouse mean? Scouse is if Scouse is just like if you're a Scouser, you're from Liverpool. Scouse accent is the accent of someone from Liverpool. I'm not really sure we're winning, to be honest. We're five down. They can play Octopussy, best chance. It's a 50-50 on what? Swordmaster, on Swordmaster, Swordmaster. They run anyway, get in. Victory. Leech just wins games, mate. Leech is so good. 